What's up, Fit Body Nation? So, it's super windy today. We should call it Super Windy Tuesday, but we're not. We're gonna be breaking it down with an awesome circuit workout today. It's actually completely different than my original plan. I started to write the workout and then I diverted from it altogether. Got something else in mind, and so that's what we're gonna be doing today. Now, it is a little windy out here. We got 50 mile an hour wind blowing, we got kids playing in the park over there, and then we got them cutting down a tree literally right behind my house. And so you're gonna hear the chainsaw and all the other noise. Definitely gonna put this microphone to the maximum test right here with noise. So, let's get this thing started though. Here's what you're gonna need. Make sure you got a set of dumbbells, something you can play with because you're gonna need it for this one. Make sure you got a yoga mat and some water so we can rock this thing out. Or tea in my case. Alright, so we're going to start with our warm-up. Time is going three minutes like usual, so let's start with some forward lunges. We're going to be hitting full body today, and we are going to be lifting some weights. So it's going to be kind of a circuit, cardio, weight training inspired workout. I think it'll be cool because we're actually going to build up on each, well, not really each exercise or each muscle group, but let's say with the first circuit, it's going to be squats. And we're gonna do regular body weight squats, and we're gonna do dumbbell squats, and we're gonna do squat jumps, and we're gonna do a squat hold. So a lot of exercises are gonna play in that manner where you kind of build onto it and makes it harder and more difficult, okay? So let's take it into jumping jacks. Hopefully your yoga mat or whatever mat you're laying on isn't blowing all over the place. Mine most certainly is. But that's what you get in Oklahoma. You get some crazy, crazy high winds out here. That's okay though. All right, so two minutes left on this. Let's keep it up, nothing crazy. Let's drop it down into some mountain climbers, okay? We're just gonna get lightly loosened up, nothing too intense with our warm up today. Good, keep those mountain climbers going. Now let's take it into push ups. So hands about shoulder width on this. There we go, good. Let's kick it out a few. There we go, excellent. Now push back out of it. There you go, bring it back down, kind of a Hindu push-up. Stretch your abs out a little bit, back out of it. Now walk it out. All right, let's take it into some high knees for a second. Good, you got it, that's it. So this one will be fast today, but we're not gonna be doing repetitive circuits. We've literally got five circuits on the board, and we're gonna go through each one of those only one time, one round, and we'll be hitting different muscle groups all the way through it. All right, there we go. Okay, now, side lunge. Ooh, got a mosquito or a fly or something on me. There we go, so step out. Good, you got it. Back to the side. Perfect, keep it up. There we go, I can feel a bug on me somewhere. Oh well, oh well, oh well. And good, okay, since we're gonna start with squats, let's do some squats real quick. We will have a rest coming up, so drop it down. Slight little pause at the bottom. There you go. I'm putting a little pulse action into mine. You can do the same if you want. A few more seconds on this, and we're gonna finish with a front plank on our forearms. That way we've got some blood flow into our abdominals as well. So drop it down. Good. All right. Straighten out your yoga mat. Okay, on your forearms. We've only got about 18 seconds left, so we're gonna keep it tight right there. So last 10 seconds, we will have a minute to rest after this, so hold it all the way to the end. Good. In five seconds, three, two, one, relax, okay. Make sure my time is correct. Actually, it should be marked as a rest, but who knows, so we're going to try this, let me see. Three and Huh, who knows, it's weird. So we should have a minute to rest here. I didn't put that rest in there accidentally. So we're gonna let it accumulate out and then I'll start back where we left off. So if that didn't make any sense, don't worry about it. All right, get some water basically right now, catch your breath. Now the first exercise we're gonna do will be bodyweight squats. But then it's gonna go straight into a dumbbell squat. Then from that we're gonna do a squat jump. So you'll set the dumbbells down obviously. And then a squat hold. Each one of these exercises will be for 60 seconds. Transition in between them will be immediate. I mean, they're they're back-to-back -back exercise doing the same thing. So 
transition shouldn't be that long. After we get through the four exercises, we'll rest a minute, then we'll be moving on to the next muscle group, which will be the same exact setup. So starting a body weight squat, I want you to keep your weight on your heels on this. Three, two, one, here we go. All right, so you can get nice and low with it, keeping the weight on the heels, perfect. That's it, there we go, good. All right, now with your pace on this, I wouldn't speed it up too much. I would maintain about the pace I'm on, um, or even a little bit slower. I know you can hear that wing dust, that was crazy. All right, so that way you're not wearing yourself out. When we get down to the last little bit, the squat jumps and stuff like that, believe me, that burn that you're waiting on, it'll happen. 28 seconds left, one solid minute on this. Good. There we go, that's it. So from this one, we'll be going straight into a dumbbell squat. And I want you getting just as low, picking those weights up. If you don't have dumbbells, find something else that's weighted. All right, all you ladies, you can throw a weight in a purse. Guys, grab some water jugs. I don't know, grab a log from outside. Get really manly with it. Three, two, one. Straight into the dumbbell squats. There's no pausing. I thought that one was gonna blow the camera over. It almost did, it shook it. It shook it on his tripod. Luckily the camera is super heavy. All right, let's keep it up. I can't really see my time right now because, all right, 38 seconds. It got blown over. All right, you're doing good. From this one, we'll be going into our squat jumps. All right, keep it up. That's it, 28 seconds. Nice and low. I'm trying to get low enough to literally touch the dumbbells to the ground every time. That's it. Good. So you can see my form. Still perfect form. Keeping the weight on the heels. Keeping that back up. Good. And I'm keeping my head up. All right. In five seconds, we've got squat jumps. Two, one. Weights down. Straight into it. Now reach down. Touch the ground. From this, we'll be going into a squat hold. All right, now remember, when you get tired with the squat jump, you're gonna wanna bend at the back. Make sure you're bending those knees and squatting for the squat jump. Good, that's it. And I can tell you the squat hold is gonna burn. Oh, it's gonna burn bad. There we go, good. Ooh. There we go, 27 seconds left on this. Don't worry about the time so much. Just getting the reps in. Even if your feet aren't coming off the ground that high. Good, keep getting that squat in there. I've had a few sloppy ones. Here we go. So, workout's gonna work like that today. Exactly what we've done. I know you get the pattern. Three, two, one, drop it down. Okay, this one's gonna suck with a capital S. Okay, now you may straighten out your knees a hundred times. Let's try not to rest our hands on our thighs. Whew. Yeah, this one's not cool. Whew. Okay, definitely getting that lactic acid build up quick in there. That's all right though. You stay as low as you can. All right, man, I think I've straightened them out three times. See if you can maintain less than me. I've already straightened them out three times. I want you to be at three or less. I'm gonna challenge you. It's gonna challenge me too. Got something in my eye. All right, keep holding it. 14 seconds. 10 more seconds. Ooh, my legs are shaking. Are yours? Mine are. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Relax, good, one minute. I'm gonna block the, block the wind. All right, okay, so we got one minute to rest now, and then we're gonna be moving on to, I believe, chest next. Okay, yeah, so this one is gonna be a chest press with push-ups, then we're gonna do diamond push-ups, and then we're gonna do a half hold, so we'll go halfway down and hold it. So you'll need your dumbbells for the chest press in the beginning. And this will be the easiest one, so enjoy it. Good. 
All right, now I want you to attempt some straight body push-ups today. If you normally do it on your knees, that's fine. But today I want you to attempt some straight body ones as well. In 10 seconds till we start. You ready? Let's do this. Grab your dumbbells on your back. Three, two, one. Here we go. All right. So I'm convinced that there's something wrong with the app because I made sure to turn all the alarms and the sounds and the beeps and all that stuff on. And for some reason, it just won't work. So I think I'm gonna have to uninstall and reinstall the app. I'm just afraid it's not gonna save all my workouts. I have all my workouts saved in that, that app as well. Just as I, I write them down, I also save them in that. And I think it'll delete them, but I'm not sure. I need to see if I can back it up before I go deleting everything. But I really like it beeping so I know where I'm at without having to look at the time. Whew! Because I've got ADD and I will zone out so fast with a workout. It's ridiculous. Like right now, I can't even see the time. Seven, ten seconds, ten seconds. Alright, from this we're going over into a regular push-up. Actually a diamond push-up, I lied. A diamond push-up. No, wait. I don't know what I wrote. I can't read it. All right, flip it over. Go into a wide push-up. Here we go. So anything past shoulder width as far as your hands go. There we go. Good. That's it. You got it on your knees, straight body. Giving it your best. There's definitely mosquitoes out here. Here we go. They need to die. It needs to get cold and they need to die. All right, keep moving. Definitely feeling it. That's it. You got this, come on. Here we go. Almost through it, 14, 13 seconds. Whoo, going to my knees on this, wrap this one up in good form. There we go. We're gonna be going straight into a diamond push-up next though. A diamond push-up will be next. Two, one. All right, here we go. Diamond push-ups, good. That's it. So with these, you want to keep your hands close together. You want to get your chest as close to the ground as you can and push them back up. Good. There we go. You got this. Perfect. Excellent. Keep moving. 39 seconds. Oh, man. This one's tough. Okay. Good. And this one, actually, it hits the back of your arms. So when your hands are close together, it focuses everything on the back of the arms. Way we tighten them up. May not be tank top season. Well, kind of still is. But we'll get you ready for next year. 17 seconds. Whew. There we go. Unless you got tropical temperatures all around. All year round. Like some of you in Brazil. There we go. Three seconds. Two. One. Okay. Half hold. So drop it down halfway. Goal is to hold it here. It's kind of a plank, but not really. <sighs> Definitely not easy. Not easy at all. Okay. Now I'm keeping my hands about shoulder width. At least that's the idea. <sighs> Definitely not any easy way to do this one. Those triceps just lock out. There we go. 26 seconds, less than 30 seconds. I know that doesn't make it easier, but whew, we're almost there. We do have a rest coming up. Good. We got this. Come on. 10 seconds. See if we can keep it there. No games. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, holy cow. Are you feeling it? The back of my arms are shot. Okay, so we're doing good. Now we're gonna be hitting our back muscles. Again, those are some large muscles. They burn a lot of calories. So not only do they build up your endurance and everything else, tone them up, look good, burn some major calories and fat by working them. So first one's gonna be a body weight good morning. We did these a long time ago, probably three months ago. So if you've been working out with me that long, but one foot's gonna go in front of the other. We're gonna go down and back up, okay? Balance might be a little sketchy with this, especially since you're like standing on a tightrope. 
hands locked behind your head, right back up, bending at the hips only. Halfway through, we'll switch the other foot in front. Then a Superman on your stomach. Then we're gonna do dumbbell rows and a deadlift, okay? All right, seven seconds. So make sure you got dumbbells for this too. Five seconds, four, three, two. All right, I'm gonna start with my right foot in front. Good. Now on this, your hips and back are pretty straight. My legs have a slight bend in them, but not much. All right. And you won't feel this one right away, but after a while you will. Good. All right, a few more seconds. There goes that wind. All right, switch, other foot in front. Good, that's it. You got this. Try to keep those hands up. Here we go. Just gonna loosen up that lower back. So the next couple exercises, we can really get into them with some reps. Whew, I can't stand up, the wind's blowing me. 12 seconds. Good, five seconds. And now, on your stomach, Superman's. All right. So for this one, hands come up, feet come up. Good. Your goal is not to set your hands back down once they're off the ground. From this, we'll be going into rows, bent over rows. So you will need your dumbbells. Whew. All right, coming up on 30 seconds. There we go. Good. Keep it up. That's it. You got this. Come on. Whew, 22 seconds. We're almost there. We're doing good. We've got back exercises, and then we've only got abs after this. So I said there was five circuits, but there's really only four. Whew. Nine seconds left. Man, these supermans always kill my back. Uh, in a good way, but it locks it up. Two, one, so my form is like blah. All right, bent over rows. So up to your feet, grabbing your dumbbells. Bent over, head up. Good. All right. So you're pulling the dumbbells up into your rib cage. Here we go. So bring them up. Get a little bit closer to you here. That way we can talk a little. All right. So pull them all the way into your rib cage, right back down, nice and slow. I try to lower them down pretty slow when I do it. All right. Now I know you're going to feel this in your lower back and upper back because we just hit those muscles with the Supermans that we did. Okay. I'm going to check the time. 20 seconds, just go stand here. The paper keeps getting blown over on the time. Makes it hard to see. There we go. So they're trimming this huge tree down, but instead of cutting it from the bottom, they're in it. So the wind's blowing 100 miles an hour. All right, we're gonna switch to a deadlift now. I'll tell you the rest in a minute. So for this one, bending down, right back up, okay? So squat down, and then right back up. There you go. Try to touch the dumbbells to the ground. So they're cutting the tree from up high in it with the wind blowing at 100 miles an hour. <laughs> so just heard a lot of yelling. I thought they were falling out, but they're not. That's one way to cut a tree in Oklahoma, I guess. Good, keep moving. There we go. That's it, you got this. Come on, 25 seconds. Whew. That's it. We've got 21 seconds. Almost there. 16 more. Come on. Even if the wind blows, it's over. 12 seconds left. <laughs> They're crazy. 8 seconds. Don't stop. Keep moving. Don't recommend you cut a tree down from the very top branch. And relax. Okay, catch your breath on this. Let's see. All right, so now, let me make sure I get everything right. All right, so I'm gonna set the mat out because we are gonna be doing abs. So, for this one, we're gonna be doing a sit-up. Let's see. Let's see if I can keep the dumbbell holding it down. All right, so we're gonna do a sit-up. Then we're gonna do a sit-up with a press. So the first sit-up is body weight only. Then a sit up and you'll press the dumbbell overhead 
So it kind of works your shoulders as well. Then from that, we're going to do flutter kicks. We're going to do big kicks though, okay? And then we're going to finish with burpees. Had to get the burpees in there. So we're starting in 10 seconds. I'm going to face this white way so if they fall out of the tree, I can see it or call for help. All right, and regular sit-ups. Here we go. So, 60 seconds. They're crazy. Crazy. Sorry, I'll stop talking about it because I know you can't see it and that's got to suck. All right, 50 seconds left. If anything exciting happens, though, I will stop the workout and I will run and record it so you can see. All right, let's keep moving. 40 seconds and counting. That's it. You got this. Don't stop. 36 seconds. We're almost there. We are going to make it. All right, we got 30 seconds. Good, good, good. Whew, that's it. So 24 seconds and counting. Keep your body weight sit-ups going. After this, so we're gonna be going straight for a dumbbell. And you'll hold it on your chest, and so you'll do a weighted sit-up, and then a press with it. We've got 12 seconds, though, until then. We've got eight seconds. There they go, cutting again. All right, and grab your dumbbell, straight into it. Sit up, press. Here we go. Sit up, press. Good. We're almost there. That's it. You got this. Come on, keep moving with me. Good. So you may not get 100 reps on this, but some good clean reps will go a long, long, long way. Perfect. That's it, you got it, come on. Excellent, 27 seconds and counting. There we go. We got 20 seconds and counting. 17, 15 more, don't stop. We're almost through this, we got big flutter kicks coming up next. Eight seconds. Five more. And on your back, straight into flutter kicks. These are big kicks now, okay? So, move straight into it. If you had to rest, try to pause the time, unless it's a fast rest. I understand those, I do them all the time. Okay, good. Keep kicking, give it your best. I like to keep my head off the ground because it adds to that crunch. But if you need to rest, head down, hands out, go for it. Try to keep those legs as straight as you can though. Big chops. We're halfway right now. That's it. You got this. Whew, almost there. Keep moving. Big kicks. That's it. 22 seconds and counting. There we go. Come on, we can do it. We got 17 seconds. Almost there. Keep going. Last 10 seconds are coming up. We're going to go straight into burpees next. Five seconds. Three. Two, one. All right, here we go. Straight into burpees. There we go. All the way down. All the way back up. Perfect. Come up. You got it. Don't stop. My daughter's waving at me. There you go. Keep moving. That's it. Don't stop. A few more reps, 30 seconds left. Come on, we got it. A few more reps. See what you can do. Bike to the end. 23 seconds. Good, keep moving. That's it, we got it. 18 left. Come on, we're almost there. My time. Just got covered up by a piece of paper. Nine seconds. See if you can get one more out. One more. Two, one, ah. Woo. guess what, Food Body Nation, we made it through another tough workout. All right, four circuits, tapped out, done for the day. Super proud of you guys, you rocked it. Be back tomorrow, we're going hard with our Wednesday. I think we're going to put a little hard focus on tomorrow with our abs, take it back how we used to, just for the day, all right? But be back tomorrow, subscribe, like this video, and share it with your friends who you think would dig this type of workout. It's definitely not for everybody. See you back tomorrow.